8th of Safa, on this day in the year 36 AH, the loyal companion Salman al Muhammadi passed away. He was a companion of the Holy Prophet Muhammad and of Imam Ali. The Prophet liked him and said about him, Salman is one of us, the Ahlul Bayt. His idea of digging a trench in the Battle of Khandaq brought victory to the Muslims. He supported the successorship of Imam Ali after the demise of the Holy Prophet and opposed the incident of Saqifa. He was assigned as the governor of Al Madain. He gave his salary to charity and knitted baskets for a living. Based on some reports, Salman was a Zoroastrian whose original name was Ruzba. He converted to Christianity in his youth. After hearing the Christians foretelling the emergence of a Prophet in the lands of the Arab, he set off towards Hijaz. He was enslaved on the way and sold to a man from Bani Quraiza in Medina. He entered Medina when the Holy Prophet had recently emigrated to the city. Salman met the Prophet and after confirming the signs of prophethood, converted to Islam. The Prophet bought Salman, who was a slave at that time, for planting 300 date trees and 600 silver coins. And then he freed him from slavery. As Salman said, the Prophet Muhammad had bought him and then named him Salman. According to most of the Shi'i sources, the first day that Salman entered the masjid, people respected and praised him, while some other people disapproved of it because he was an Ajam, non-Arab. After this event, the Holy Prophet gave a speech to people. Men are not superior to another based on their race or the color of their skin, but only piety differentiates them. Salman is a vast sea and an everlasting treasure. Salman is a member of my family, the Ahlul Bayt. He is gifted with knowledge and wisdom. After Salman passed away, Imam Ali traveled to Al Madain to perform ghusl on his body and enshroud it. And then he performed funeral prayers upon his body.